good footing to go uh, dig earlier this morning. But got my last two loads of clean rock. We'll get the plate compactor set up there and start driving back to this last uh, lift.
finally got this next lift put in this just takes a little while so plus it doesn't help that i got that little bitty plate compactor so i put it in at like four inches at a time to make sure it compacts so and i got to cut back a lot further but this will be the i think the last row or run of the geo grid and then i i figured it had two more rows which i think is that'll be two more rows in the cap will be 20 more inches so and i'm thinking we'd like to just i'd like to i don't know have it two more full rows around the corner so i know the ground before right here stepped down it may be that kind of where i'm standing through here uh i'm probably gonna put a little bit of a swell because i don't really want it to just slope straight down to the wall just to take a chance of anything washing or just eroding mud down the front you kind of want to oh almost have like a swell or kind of divert this stuff where the water will actually run away from the back of the wall and not sit on there so kind of come down here this may have a little bit of a slope down to it and it should just all pitch off that way is the plan we'll see how well that actually works out but yeah if i had a bigger plate compactor like one of those big thousand pounds like uh, dirt ninjas got i could probably put it in like 12 inch lifts but the old whacker packer i just i don't know four or five inches is about all that i want to try to compact at a time now we'll uh now i gotta bring the tops of these caps off and then get the geo grid out and i'll cut and run it further back in here and i'm actually going to glue the next row of blocks just down on there just to kind of help make everything a little more solid and then uh yeah, we'll repeat the process all over again with the clean rock and then adding dirt in here. So hopefully after that stuff, it'll go a little bit quicker. I think the sides over there and here, they're pretty close to where they need to be, I think. So I'm actually gonna put uh, weed guard or landscape fabric over the top. That way, when we put the dirt back over, when it does rain, it doesn't kind of uh, run or still through in the clean rock. I didn't really put it in between all of this because I don't know I mean it can be argued both ways I've had the argument with people both ways where you need to put it put the weed guard where you don't the guys that recommend not doing it they say their weed guard can get clogged up and then it just wants to put more pressure on the clean rock and then other guys say that it keeps all the dirt and stuff out of the clean rock uh, my only argument with uh i guess not putting it in there is like every time i go and dig all these sewer risers up they'll run the sewer main and they'll stub a riser up and they'll just backfill it with clean and there's absolutely no weed guard you'll dig down in there and then all of a sudden you'll hit a whole bunch of clean rock and there's never any dirt mixed in with it so I and mean, i know clean rock's kind of a natural filtration deal anyways but could be right could be wrong i don't know but i didn't put it back there but i am going to put it on the top just where the dirt lays because it seems like that would kind of deteriorate and run down in there and what i'll do with that is we'll get all these cleaned off i'll lay it across here and i'll actually lay part of it on top of there and then when i glue the caps on the back corner of that kind of holds it and then we'll just rake the dirt back to it but that is where we're at for now we'll get that cleaned off and get the geo grid out Okay, and quick funny story while I was sweeping that reminded me. Uh, back when I did this landscaping, we had a guy that this was his favorite part of the wall. He, <laughs> he wanted to be the one to broom the top of the block off before you set the next row of the cap. So that was that was his thing. He uh, he'd help stack the blocks. He didn't do much else. But he loved to sweep them off for some reason. So I I don't know. I just reminded me of. Uh, doing that yeah he'd run over there to the race man he'd get mad if anybody else was cleaning them off so that was he was the broom guy
Okay, it's gonna be easier with the blocks up top here and set them than trying to pick them up and reach over there. And luckily this one got up there without them all falling, but the <laughs> pallet kind of gave way. So we'll just start with it and then throw it down. But yeah, instead of trying to lift them up and set them, it's gonna be a lot easier just to kind of set them from back here. Uh, this is kind of what I do with the geo grid. I just overlap it a little bit and you have to run it this way because the way it is on the ends I, there's something i need to find out the details of that there's something you can't run it the other way that's how i guess it's supposed to run back in there i'll find out on that like for somebody may comment and know but i know you're just not it'd be easier just to run one down through here but it's something about how it's put together or made it it pulls or holds better that direction and this is what i got going i got that these are glued and then I need to go get the saw, but I'm actually going to notch. Uh, there's a busted block down there in the corner, and I'm basically just going to cut that corner off. So then it'll fill in here, but then run this way and back over and then down. And then I think the last row will be a full block going this way and then do that. Like another, probably another cut right there. But for now, I'm just going to start stacking just run my way down so I don't have to cut anymore on here and get those stacked and then same thing with that way and then we'll see about getting the saw getting that one cut and running one more row on top of there yeah I think this is going to save my back just having these up here and then uh, trying to reach up and set them it was getting to the height where that was going to be a, a pain 